He titulado el mensaje de esta ocasión El humano de los postreros días. I titled the message for this instance The human being during the end times. El ser humano de los postreros días. The or conversely the end times human being. O sea, vamos a tratar un tema escatológico. In other words, we're going to deal with a topic that is eschatological in nature. El último que presenté lo hicimos en un domingo virtual. The last uh, topic of this of this vein we presented it on one of our uh, virtual presentations. Y traté el tema de Babilonia. And we dealt with the issue of Babylon resurgent. Parece que ha ministrado, que ha gustado. Seems like people have been ministered by the study. Porque studies. son muchos los que se han acercado. Because there have been a few that have uh, approached us. A nuestra página, al muro que tenemos en YouTube. To our page, on, um, on Facebook and on YouTube. Para ver la presentación. In order to view the presentation and they've commented as well. Confiamos que cada mensaje, sea escatológico o no, llegue a muchas personas. We confide that whether or not, as it were, these uh, subject matters, whether they're escatological or not, that they were to uh, reach people, as it were. De modo que, una vez más, vamos a tratar otro tema de la escatología. Therefore, once again, we're going to deal with another subject matter that deals with eschatology. Los escatólogos que también resultan ser cazadores. Now, the people whom tend to like eschatology, that we would call them hunters, as it were. Yo le llamo cazadores porque se la pasan buscando señales. We call them hunters because they're constantly looking for signs and wonders. Señales que según ellos les deja ver que estamos viviendo la hora escatológica. Uh, signs that were to show them, showcase to them that we are living in fact in the end times. Lo curioso de estos cazadores es que tienen una señal ante sus ojos muy evidente. The curious thing about these hunters is that they have signs that are very evident that is slapping them in the face as it were. Pero parecen no verla. But it appears as if they're not sensible enough to see them. Están mirando en los sucesos. They're looking at events. Y no estoy diciendo que considerar eventos y sucesos sea un error. And I'm not saying that looking towards certain events and occurrences is an error in and of itself. Vamos a aclarar eso, ¿no? Let's clarify that. Pero este grupo de, de, de escatólogos, estos cazadores. But these hunters in particular. Siempre ponen la mirada, o máximamente, principalmente ponen la mirada en eventos y o sucesos. They are principally, and in many instances, exclusively looking only at events and occurrences. Por ejemplo, miran hacia la ciencia para ver qué está sucediendo en ese ambiente. For example, they'll take a look at what's happening in scientific circles. Y luego decir, como está escrito, en los postreros tiempos la ciencia se multiplicaría. And they'll quote things such as, for example, as it is written, Science would augment during the end times. Otros miran hacia la, a la ciencia para ver cuán cerca pudiéramos estar de una implementación del 666. Others are looking to signs, for example, as to the development of a system, 666, absolute control, surveillance, etc. Hablando de mirar eventos y sucesos, muchos miran a Israel. Others, they focus specifically on Israel. Israel es una señal extraordinaria. Now, of course, Israel is part of the signs that would give an indication. De modo que, valga la redundancia, no estamos criticando el hecho de observar sucesos y eventos. Therefore, uh, let us be a bit redundant here to emphasize the point. We're not criticizing as it were looking at events, occurrences, places for signs, specifically. Pero yo les pregunto, estos eventos y sucesos, But I ask you, these events, these successions of events, exceptuando los que brotan de la naturaleza, excepting those that sprout from nature, y aún esos en esta generación están diciendo los supuestos expertos, and even those things, supposed experts are saying nowadays, tienen una fuente humana que los está multiplicando, tornando más agudo. They have a human component that is making these things worse, some might say. De modo que cuando miramos eventos, sucesos, yo me pregunto, ¿y por qué no echamos o corremos un poco la vista hacia lo que provoca eventos y sucesos? Therefore, I'm not saying once again that these particular signs and occurrences, we ought to ignore them. But I'm saying, why don't we look behind the curtain, as it were, and see what is propelling these things? O sea, la conducta del ser humano. More specifically, human conduct. La conducta del ser humano resulta ser una señal. 
the human conduct. That in and of itself is a sign of the end times. Repito, valga la redundancia, no hay error en considerar los eventos y los sucesos. Pardon my redundancy here, but it's important to emphasize the point. It's not a bad thing to look for events and occurrences because there are signs therein. Pero la gran mayoría de los eventos y los sucesos ocurren debido o como consecuencia de la conducta del ser humano. But the vast majority of these events, if you think about it, they're due to human conduct or specific human conduct. Es posible que una persona más que otra diga, bueno, pero esto como que usted lo está estirando un poco. Now, some might be a bit skeptical and say, maybe you're exaggerating a bit. Pero lo cierto del caso es que Pablo presentó la conducta del ser humano dentro del marco escatológico. But the fact of the matter is, is that Paul mentions in his writings certain details about human conduct that would give you an indication as to whether or not you were experiencing the end times. Pero digamos que solo por un instante que no tenemos todo aquello que Pablo enseñó acerca de la conducta. Let us suppose, hypothetically, that we didn't have these writings available to us. Dígame si usted ha escuchado anteriormente, por haberse multiplicado la maldad se enfriaría el amor, la caridad de muchos. Tell me if you haven't heard before, because evil will be multiplied, man's love will grow cold. Y Pablo, hablando de los engañadores, dijo que irán de mal en peor. And Paul specifically says that those that deceive, they would actually increase in their Cuando deception. Cuando Jesús nos habla del de comportamiento humano de los últimos tiempos ser parecido a aquel que se vio en los días de Noé. For example, Jesus tells us that the human comportment would be very similar to the days of Noah. Cuando nos dice que consideremos los días de Lot y que aprendamos de aquello. For example, Jesus also tells us that we are to learn from the particulars of the days of Lot. Jesús está guiando nuestra vista para que consideremos la conducta del ser humano. Jesus is guiding our view. He's guiding our eyesight so that we may focus on certain particular things. Bueno, pastor, pero el ser humano ha sido malo desde el pecado y no hay nada nuevo que ver allí. Some might rebuff, well, human beings have been evil from the onset, so there's not really much to see there. Si usted ha estudiado la Biblia, usted sabe if you've studied the Bible, you know que Dios ha intervenido en la en los asuntos de la humanidad that God has intervened in human affairs y ha establecido un poco de freno al desenfreno and he has established as it were breaks if you can use that term figuratively to certain human conduct es más algunos dirían que el freno vino en la forma de algún juicio some might say that for example these breaks were implemented in certain instances via a judgment or two. Yo estaría de acuerdo con esas personas. And I would be in agreement with those persons. Porque el desenfreno de los días de Noé requirió qué cosa? Because if you think about it, the libertinism that was experienced during the days of Noah, what did it require? Diluvio. It required a deluge. El desenfreno de el tiempo de Lot, ¿qué requirió? The, again, repeated libertinism of the days of Lot, what did it require? El comportamiento de Israel, especialmente el rechazo del Mesías, fue castigado. Think about Israel's rejection of the Messiah. That was punished. De modo que tenemos un esquema que aparece una y otra vez en la Biblia. Therefore, we have a scheme, we have a pattern that appears in the Scripture over and over again. Vemos un patrón que se repite en la Palabra de Dios. We see this in the Word of God. Y cuando prestamos atención a lo que está sucediendo, vemos que en el frente de todo aquello está el comportamiento humano. And when we pay close attention to all of the driving force behind all of this, you find out that it's human activity. Con eso en mente, vamos a considerar brevemente. Now, with this in mind, let us briefly consider. La segunda carta de Pablo a Timoteo. Second letter that Paul writes to Timothy. El capítulo 3. Chapter number 3. Versículos 1 al 5. Verses 1. 1 through 5. Segunda de Timoteo, capítulo 3, versículos 1 al 5. Second Timothy 3, 1 through 5. Allí el apóstol Pablo dice, también debes saber esto. Go ahead and read it all. I gotta get my... También debes saber esto, que en los postreros días vendrán tiempos peligrosos, porque habrá hombres amadores de sí mismos, habla de los avariciosos, los vanagloriosos, los soberbios, los blasfemos, los desobedientes a los padres ingratos, impíos. Y luego en el verso 3 añade, sin afecto natural, implacables, calumniadores, intemperantes, crueles, aborrecedores de lo bueno, traidores, impetuosos, infatuados, amadores de los deleites 
más que de Dios, que tendrán apariencia de piedad, pero negarán la eficacia de ella. You'll, a estos evita. You'll note that in the totality of these verses, Paul to Timothy, second letter, chapter 3, verse 1 and on, but know this, that in the last days perilous times will come, for men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving, slanderers, without self-control, brutal, despisers of good, traitors, headstrong, haughty, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying its power, and from such people turn away. Recuerden que la conducta del ser humano, la previa, de acuerdo a la escritura, despertó Provocó el juicio de Dios. Remember, we have instances, as we said, we asserted earlier, that there is certain human conduct that leads God to judge humanity. Hay un patrón de eso, lo vemos en la Escritura. There is a pattern of what we have just asserted in Scripture. Esto me lleva a pensar que si comenzamos a ver lo mismo, entonces es posible que esta sea la generación que vea, por así decirlo, el juicio de los juicios. So, We see that there is an increase in these things, and according to the Bible, when we see an increase of these things, it's quite possible that you'll see God's judgment again because man's wickedness grows ever more. ¿Por qué me a, a llamarle el juicio de los juicios? Why do I dare call it the judgment of all judgments? Porque Jesucristo dijo que tribulación como esta que viene sobre la humanidad no se ha visto anteriormente. Because Jesus himself said of that particular time that such tribulation would have never been seen before in human history. Y que Tribulación como la que le viene a la humanidad después de concluida, no habrá otra igual. And after having this judgment concluded, there will not be anything similar to it ever again. De modo que viene, se acerca el juicio de los juicios. So therefore, once again, we see the approximation of the judgment of all judgments. Es más, en el libro del Apocalipsis, usted encuentra que después de los juicios de Dios, dice, y con esto queda consumada la ira de Dios. In the book of Revelation, after this is completed, you'll note that it says there that it has been consummated, the wrath of God. Now, it's important to deal with that particular subject matter for just a few minutes. Porque se escucha decir a unos cuantos. Because we hear quite a few. Si Dios es bueno, ¿por qué está permitiendo esto? Quite a few people, they say, if God is so great, he's so gracious, he's so good, why is he permitting such a thing? Y las personas que se expresan así... Parecen ignorar. And the people that express themselves in this fashion, they seem to ignore. Que Dios es grande en misericordia y lento para la ira. That God is great in mercy and he is late as it were. He is slow to wrath. Así que tomar lo que pareciera ser ausencia de juicio como indiferencia de parte de Dios es un grave error. So to interpret God's mercy and long suffering with the fact that God does not, or, or rather, with misinterpreting it to mean that God doesn't intervene is a grave error. Como lo explicó Pedro, no es que Dios hace demorar su juicio, sino que es paciente para con nosotros, esperando que procedamos al arrepentimiento. As Peter expressed, it's not that God rushes, as it were, to castigate, but rather he is patient and long-suffering, waiting for us to seek forgiveness. Con todo, por cuanto... Nos interesa saber si el regreso del Señor está cerca. Still, since we're interested to know how close we are to Christ's return to earth. Y tenemos en la conducta del ser humano una señal profética. And in man's conduct, we have a sign that tells us about the signs of the end times. Cabe mantener en mente que si la conducta ha llegado a ese punto donde la ira de Dios se va a desbordar. It's fitting to understand that if this is going to bring forth God's wrath. Los juicios de Dios están cerca. Then God's judgments are certainly approximating. Vamos a abrir estos versos y considerarlos brevemente. Let us open these verses. Let us consider them more closely. También debe saber esto que en los postreros días vendrán tiempos peligrosos. But know this, that in the last days, perilous times will come. Pero, ¿cuáles son los peligros que el Espíritu Santo tiene en mente? Now, The question we must ask is, what are these perils that the Holy Spirit is warning of? La persona que principalmente piensa en lo económico dice, bueno, están los peligros económicos. The person that primarily thinks about economic issues, they'll think, well, fiscal problems will arise. Those will be the, the primary ones. Los peligros financieros. The, again, financial problems. Y usted ve a las mejores mentes buscando dónde tomar su dinero, las riquezas, para 
ponerlo, moverlo de una parte a otra y así proteger sus riquezas. And because of this, you'll have people who are financial experts and they'll look to see where to move their money so as to have it protected. Hay otros que son expertos en el ambiente de la salud. Now, there are others who are experts with respect to health. Y amonestan de los peligros que están alrededor de la esquina eh, tocante a la salud. And they admonish about health issues that humanity will encounter just around the corner. Que si, por ejemplo, está regresando la tuberculosis. For example, tuberculosis is making a comeback, some might say. La gonorrea, aunque los medios no quieren reportar aquello, está desbordándose una vez más. Another vivid example is how gonorrhea and other STDs are ever increasing, even though a few mainstream media outlets will not want to cover this. Entonces, están los peligros en el ambiente de la salud. Then you have, again, <laughs> the issues within health. Están los peligros especialmente en las grandes ciudades provocados por el crimen. Then you have also the dangers that are ever growing within cities, once again because of the amount of crime. Más y más negocios han optado por de una manera muy tranquila cerrar centros de comercio. More and more businesses are quietly closing many of their stores within city centers. Porque aunque cada artículo que se vende, because even though every item that they sell tiene lo que se conoce en este país como un markup. Has what is known in this country as an individual markup. O sea, se le suma al costo X cantidad, un porcentaje, por lo que la gente se va a robar. In other words, there's an added cost added to every item because they suspect and they know that there will be X amount of theft committed at every one of their stores, so they try to offset that cost. Esto de entrar en las tiendas y, y despojar las tiendas, es algo que algunos negocios dicen, no, 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 vamos a, no vamos a tolerar esto. This, where people are simply entering businesses and they're ransacking the entirety of the business, uh, this is something that business people are not going to tolerate. Tenemos las actividades de las pandillas. Then we also, no se siente segura en las calles. We also have the activity of uh, criminal gangs. People are not feeling safe where they're living now. Luego, aunque usted se le haya hecho visible o no, está en aumento la persecución, ¿sí? Eh, los cristianos están comenzando a sufrir persecución aún en un país como los Estados Unidos. Now, whether or not you see this or not, this is increasing the persecution, for example, against Christians, even in the United States, this is growing. De modo que abarca mucho esto de tiempos peligrosos. Therefore, when we speak of perilous times, you see the amount of things that can be covered by that phrase. Hay pluralidad en el asunto. There is a plurality in that definition. Y dice que esto va ocurrir en los postreros días. And again, the text tells us that this is going to happen in the end times. Si yo no tuviese el resto de la información que Pablo provee. Now, if we did not have the other particulars of what Paul provides in the following verses. Yo me preguntaría, ¿y por qué tiene que suceder esto o qué causará esto? I would ask, well, what is the impetus behind these perilous times, what are the things that are going to bring about these perilous times? ¿Cuál es o cuáles son las causas que van a provocar, que van a traer en los postreros días tiempos peligrosos? What are the causes, what are the uh, driving forces that will cause these perilous times? Y es como que Dios desde antes de la fundación del mundo escuchó la pregunta y dice porque... And it's as if God understood that this question were to be there from before the foundations of the world and he inspires the answer. Porque habrá hombres amadores de sí mismos. For men will be lovers of themselves. A la medida que usted considera la lista presentada por el Espíritu Santo a través de Pablo. Now, it is at the measure that you begin to understand and detail and comprehend the list that is provided by the Holy Spirit to Paul. Es posible que a usted se le ocurra decir, bueno, algunos van a padecer de esto y los otros van a padecer de lo otro. It is quite possible that you think that when you read through the list, you'll think it seems as if there's an amalgamation of different people that will have different things from the list that is mentioned. Pero lo cierto es que la estructura de los versos no permite en esa interpretación. But the structure of the verses themselves do not allow that particular interpretation. O sea, Pablo está describiendo al humano y está diciendo, todo esto se va a ver en cada ser humano. In other words, Paul is saying that all of these things is going to be seen collectively in every single human being. Y te dice que la catapulta es el amor propio desmedido. And you'll note that Paul says that the catapult for this evil and these men that practice these things is 
self-love that is unhinged. El amor propio, en una medida prudente, no solo es permitido, sino necesario. Now, understand that self-love, at its proper, at its adequate measure, is not only permitted, it is necessary. Pero cuando lo llevas más allá de la frontera establecida por Dios. But when you take this above and beyond the borders that are established by God himself. El asunto se torna peligroso. That problem becomes exacerbated. Usted nota que Pablo menciona la catapulta que entierra al hombre en una conducta aborrecible. You'll note that Paul mentions the catapult, as it were, that leads man to... An aberrant behavior. Habrá hombres amadores de sí mismos. For men will be lovers of themselves. Pero si baja la vista hacia la última parte del versículo 4. But if you look towards the ending of verse number 4. Pablo cierra la lista con algo bastante interesante. Paul closes the list with a very peculiar mention. Vuelve a usar la palabra amadores. He uses the word once again, lovers. Y dice, amadores de los deleites más que de Dios. Lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. Quiere decir que en el ser humano de la hora escatológica, it means that the human being during eschatological times, el amor propio, self-love, es desmedido. Is going to be in an unhealthy measure. Eso está por doquier. That's everywhere. Mm -hmm. La gente está dedicada a conseguir lo que el yo, lo que yo quiero, lo que yo necesito, lo que... Yo deseo, mi antojo. If you consider man's activity nowadays, man is, in essence, dedicated to everything that is fulfilling his carnal and uh, uh, his carnal inclinations. Y si por alguna razón mi prójimo, no importa la forma que tome, madre, padre, amigo, compañero de trabajo, etc. And if uh, some neighbor, it doesn't matter what shape that neighbor may take, whether it be family members, friends, co-workers... Si mi prójimo resulta ser que se interpone entre yo y lo que yo deseo, if my neighbor decides to become a barrier and impediment to that which I desire to experience, pues lo tengo que eliminar. Then I must eliminate that person. Ah, pero es que mi prójimo está pensando lo mismo. Curiously enough, though, my neighbor is thinking about doing the exact same thing. Y comienza a entender usted por qué son tiempos peligrosos. And you begin to understand, therefore, why these are perilous times. Cuando el amor a Dios desaparece del corazón. When the love towards God begins to disappear. Porque ¿qué enseña la Escritura? Because what does Scripture teach? Amarás al Señor tu Dios con toda tu alma, con toda tu mente, con todo tu corazón y con toda tu fuerza. You shall love the Lord your God with all of your mind, soul, and strength. Y a tu prójimo como a ti mismo. And you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Cuando eso desaparece. When that disappears. Cuando el hombre decide voy a quitar esto, voy a erradicar esto de de mi vida. When man decides to eliminate that consideration or considerations from his life, se ha abierto completamente a la idolatría en sus muchas formas. Man has, in essence, opened himself up now to multitudinous idolatries. Porque vamos al caso, fuimos creados para relacionarnos con Dios. Because, let's face it, we were created so that we can relate to God. Y gran parte de nuestra adoración o de nuestra relación con Dios tiene que ver con Adoración. And a great part of our relationship to God has to do with worship. Jesucristo lo dijo, Dios busca adoradores que adoren en espíritu y en verdad. Jesus said it, the Father is looking for worshipers that worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Cuando usted descarta eso, when you discard this, la necesidad que usted tiene, el apetito que usted tiene de adorar permanece en usted. The need that you have to worship is still there. It's not going to be expunged. Pero ahora lo dirige hacia otra cosa. But now you direct it towards someone or something else. Porque lo cierto es que se hace más que evidente que nosotros los humanos tenemos necesidad de adorar. Because the fact of the matter is, is that we humans, it is evident we have a need to worship. Pero fíjese, por ejemplo, hay gente que prácticamente adora a las celebridades. But for example, just give you an example of what I'm just saying. There are people who worship at the feet of celebrities. Uno de los programas más famosos de los últimos años se llama El Ídolo Americano. Think about this. This is manifested in one of the more popular television shows during the last decade or two, American Idol. O sea que te lo están colocando ahí ante tu rostro y no te das cuenta. In other words, they are exhibiting this. Uh, to your face, and many people don't notice it. Hay otros que ven a través de los ojos de los deportistas. There are others, for example, who see through the eyes of professional athletes. Y usted se pregunta, 
¿Cómo es posible que las personas viendo el comportamiento de estos ídolos insistan en seguirlos, en adorarlos? And you ask yourself, seeing the behavior of these athletes, why would people insist on following them and cheering for them? Porque cambiamos un poquito las palabras, pero lo que estamos haciendo, lo que esta humanidad en esencia hace, es lo mismo, adorar. Because we might change the words a bit, but if you think about it, humanity in essence is doing what has been done for for years idolatry worship ¿Cuál es la palabra que usan hoy? what is the term that is used nowadays un seguidor a follower un fanático a fanatic pero están haciendo lo mismo but they're doing exactly the same thing that our ancestors did cuando nosotros los seres humanos nos desligamos de la relación natural para con la cual fuimos eh, diseñados but when we as humans we remove ourselves we push away the very reasoning behind why we were created o sea abandonamos la, la, lo que sería la costumbre natural de adorar a Dios we abandon the natural inclination that we have to worship God y comenzamos a adorar cualquier cosa que no sea Dios and we begin to worship anything or anyone that is not God entonces ya entró la perversión entró la corrupción then perversion corruption makes an entrance. Y el resultado se ve en la conducta del ser humano. And the result, again, is seen in human conduct. Las personas que adoran a Dios en espíritu y en verdad manifiestan cierta conducta. People that worship the Lord in spirit and in truth, they manifest certain conduct. Y los que no adoran a Dios, and those that don't worship God, sino que adoran otras cosas, they worship other things, manifiestan cierta conducta. They manifest certain conduct as well. ¿Qué sucede? Now, what happens? Si el ser humano pone la vista en las celebridades, en la farándula. If man places his eyesight, his gaze upon celebrities, upon popular culture. Y luego ve que el comportamiento de las celebridades es algo que inicialmente o las celebridades lo presentan como placentero. And the celebrities, they present their what you would call lifestyle as pleasant and something that ought to be imitated. Y a la vez el público, el fanático ve que a esa gente le va tan bien. And the fanatics, the celebrity uh, idolaters, they see that it's going well for these celebrities. Entonces deciden, yo puedo imitar esto. Then they begin to imitate that which they are idolizing. Yo puedo imitar esto. They say, I can imitate that. ¿Cuántos recuerdan el caso de estas celebridades que le pagaron a otras personas para que tomaran los estudiantes de entrada de sus hijos. How many of you remember the case that happened a few years ago where they were paying, as it were, certain administrators so that their children, celebrities' children, would gain access to some of the top schools? Por hablar de lo más leve del ambiente de corrupción de las celebridades. And that's to speak of probably what we would call the lighter of the corruptions bueno, that gente, happens in celebrity culture. Está viendo aquí y dice, Yo también lo puedo hacer. Some people see this and they say, if they get away with it, I can do it as well. Lo mismo cuando miran al mundo de la política. It's the same thing when they see the world of politics. El mundo de los deportes. The world of sports. ¿Cuál es el problema que estamos viendo dentro del sistema de educación? What's the problem, among many others, that we're seeing within the educational system? Pensando que enviamos a nuestros hijos a aprender matemáticas, idiomas, lectura, eh, composición, llegan a casa diciendo cosas que uno dice, pero, ¿qué es lo que está pasando aquí? Thinking that we're sending our children to learn basic arithmetic, grammar, history, and other things, they arrive home saying things, affirming things that we're asking ourselves, where did they learn this? Todo esto es el resultado de dejar de amar a Dios. All of this is the result of abandoning the love for God. Llevar el amor propio a un nivel donde nos destruye. Taking love to a place where it can destroy us. Por eso, repito, el primer mandamiento dice, amarás al Señor tu Dios con toda tu alma, con toda tu mente y con toda tu fuerza. This is why, as I repeated earlier, the first commandment is, you shall love the Lord your God with all your mind, soul, strength, and spirit. Y el segundo dice, amarás a tu prójimo como a ti mismo. And the second says that you will love the Lord, uh, you will love your neighbor as you love yourself. Obviamente, cumplir con aquello produce una conducta de calidad. Evidently, if you fulfill with these commandments, you're going to live a quality life. Descartar aquello produce todo lo contrario. To discard this would mean all the contrary. Ahora fíjense que en el verso 5 dice que tendrán apariencia de piedad. Now you'll note that in verse number 5 there's this very curious phrase that they will have a form of godliness. Pero negarán la eficacia de ella. But they will deny its power. 
Hoy escuchamos a los mundanos, a los pecadores decir más o menos lo siguiente. Today we hear secularists, sinners, say as follows. Es que yo tengo mi moralidad. But I have my own morality. Y ellos hablan de una segunda moralidad. And they speak as if there is this second morality. Como que hay alternativa. As if there is an alternative morality. Como que la de ellos es no solo igual que la de los cristianos, sino hasta mejor. As if their morality is not only different from Christians, but better. Y Pablo, inspirado por el Espíritu Santo, habla de esto. And Paul, inspired by the Holy Spirit, he speaks about this evil. Pero Pablo está hablando a cristianos. But remember that Paul is addressing himself towards Christians. En otras palabras, esta mentalidad que está descrita aquí se infiltrará en la iglesia. In other words, the mentality that is described therein will infiltrate itself into the church. Y por eso cuando yo escucho que este púlpito está abrazando esto y aquel otro ministro está abrazando aquel otro, a mí no me extraña. Therefore, when I hear that this pulpit is preaching this, this minister has adopted this idea, this church is now teaching this heresy, it's not surprising. Es más, denominaciones completas ya están diciendo si la iglesia quiere crecer, si los evangélicos quieren permanecer tienen que relajar su doctrina. Furthermore, we are beginning to hear entire congregations and denominations saying, if we want to reach out to people and continue to be relevant, we need to meet people where they're at and relax our standards. De modo que la conducta del ser humano, incluyendo la conducta de los cristianos, therefore, human conduct, which also includes Christian conduct, es una señal importantísima. It is a very important sign detailing what is happening during the end time. Es una señal escatológica importantísima. It is an eschatological sign which is of utmost importance. Porque como ya expliqué, because as I explained previously, es correcto mirar los sucesos y los eventos. It is correct to look towards events, towards occurrences, y decir, bueno, la Biblia habla de esto. And to say, well, the Bible spoke about this type of incident happening. Pero la mayoría de los eventos, la mayoría de los sucesos, de esos sucesos que nosotros los vemos como cumplimiento de la profecía bíblica. But the majority of these events, these occurrences and incidents that we see within Bible prophecy. Son el resultado del comportamiento humano. They are the result of human behavior. Y nótese que Pablo... En esencia dice, todo se lanza, todo se catapulta con abandonar el amor a Dios y entra esto de un amor propio desmedido. And note that Paul says that the impetus for this change is the abandonment of the love for God and now the introduction of a, an exaggerated self-love. Entra una forma de la idolatría que es posiblemente la más peligrosa porque es sutil. It is probably the entrance of the most dangerous type of idolatry. Again, that makes an appearance because it's probably the most subtle of all of them. Nosotros conocemos esto como egolatría. We know this in some circles as egolatry, or rather, again, idolatry of the self. Nótese que inmediatamente que el amor propio va más allá de lo que es saludable, la avaricia entra. Meaning that, for example, love, self-love, which all of us should have, but when it goes beyond the proper measure, now, for example, avarice plays a role. Nunca tengo suficiente. I never have enough. No me alcanza. It's not enough. Nothing is enough. Es más, el miedo a perder lo que tienen los domina. Furthermore, the fear that they have of losing what they have dominates these people. Luego le añade la vanagloria. Then you add to this vainglory. Buscar gloria que en realidad no es gloria. Glory, seeking glory that isn't in reality glory. ¿Cuántos se dieron cuenta que los artistas, How many of you have noted that artists, por ejemplo, so called, for example, tienen su momento en el cenit. They have their moment of absolute popularity. Y luego la ley de la gravedad toma ocasión. They're at the zenith for a time, but then the law of gravity takes over. Y es estira por aquí, amarra por allá, <laughs> pinta por acá. And then they begin to stretch here, nip and tuck over there, and then they paint on this side. Se le fue la gloria. Suddenly the glory has dissipated. Se le fue la gloria. Y ellos hacen todo lo que está a su alcance para retener aquello o rescatarlo. And you'll note that they do everything within their power to try to rescue those so-called glory days. Pero la generación que, que un día los siguió los descarta. But the generation that at one point gave them all of these bona fides, now they discard them. Y típicamente los descarta no porque aparece alguien en la escena con una conducta más conservadora, sino más corrupta aún. And typically they discard these people not because others have replaced them that have a more conservative outlook and behavior. No, a person that is more corrupt than this person appears and now they have followers. Y son masas. 
Es una tremenda cantidad de humanos que siguen esto. And it's a mass of people. We're talking about a sea of humanity that follows these individuals. Y hay un país en particular que parece encabezar esta industria. There seems to be a particular country that some would call it the head of this type of industry. Mencioné anteriormente el programa American Idol. I mentioned previously American Idol. El ídolo americano. Luego usted ve que hay una serie de programas en diferentes países que dice África tiene talento. Then you see, for example, uh, other countries that have a programming that seems to be of a similar name. Africa's got talent. Nigeria tiene talento. Nigeria has talent. Yo no le estoy recomendando que usted se siente a ver aquello eh, sin filtros. I'm not recommending that you were to sit and view this without filters. Porque ciertamente algunas de las personas que se presentan tienen mucho talento. Because certainly some people that do appear on these programs, they are talented. Pero ¿qué hace una persona en un programa titulado Nigeria tiene talento cantando en inglés? But I ask you, what does a person that appears on Nigeria's Got Talent appearing there singing in English, for example? Quizás usted no le ve conexión al asunto. Maybe you might not see a particular connection to what we're mentioning here. Pero así como algunas personas o algunas organizaciones, algunos países son el centro, la fábrica principal en producir algo. But you'll always note that there is this phenomenon. Certain countries, certain nations tend to be the primary exporter of a particular phenomenon. Hay individuos que... Lo que ellos son, ellos lo, lo, lo exportan. There are individuals whom, and nations that they are defined by what they export. Y hay compañías que ellos exportan al mundo entero lo que ellos son, lo que ellos representan. There are companies that do the same. Y hay países como los Estados Unidos que tienen industria. And there are nations like the United States that has certain muy industries. Muy poderosas. That are very powerful industries. Y la industria de la música... Es una de ellas. And the music industry, the American music industry is one of these. Usted puede tomar a un cantautor de Australia, de los Estados Unidos, de muchos otros países. You can take one of these uh, singer songwriters from any other country. Y todos más o menos dicen, fui influenciado por alguien que es de acá de los Estados Unidos. And you hear these individuals talk about their influences and they'll say at least one or two in that list will be someone that was popular from the United States. Y añaden, no he llegado al cenit, no he golpeado verdaderamente lo que quiero golpear hasta que mi música no se venda en los Estados Unidos. And they themselves will assert it doesn't matter how popular they are maybe from where they're at. They'll say, I have not reached the pinnacle of popularity and fame until I've made it big in the United States. Yo he llegado cuando yo finalmente forme parte de la industria de la música que brota de los Estados Unidos. I have so-called made it so long as I am part of the American music industry. Ah, pero yo pensé que usted iba a hablar de la señal escatológica que tiene que ver con la conducta del ser humano. Oh, but I thought that up until this point, the naysayers might say that you were going to talk about this conduct that you were mentioning earlier leading to the end times. Y habrá algo en nuestro tiempo. Que ha influenciado más la conducta nuestra que la música. And is there something more influential in our day and age than music? Piénselo. Think about it. La pareja dice, ya tenemos 15 años de casados. The couple, for example, says we've been married for 15 years. Y necesitamos algo que nos ayude un poquito para tener una noche romántica. And we need something to aid us in our romantic escapades this evening. ¿Qué hace esa pareja? What does that couple typically do? Déjame buscar música romántica. Let me look for romantic music. ¿Cierto? True or not? Los chicos quieren lucir como que conmigo no te puedes equivocar. The young persons in our day and age, they want to look intimidating. Y se rodea de esa música. And they surround themselves with that music that promotes violence and intimidation. Los más intelectuales dicen, no, yo escucho música clásica. The more intellectual among us They'll say, I like to listen to classical music. Y lo dice con soberbia. And they will say it with a sufficient amount of pride. De modo que hay para todos. So there's music for all styles and inclinations. Y los que no son influenciados por esta industria. And those that are not influenced by this industry in particular. Pues tienen otras industrias que de igual manera los reducen o reducen su calidad. They have also other industries that they appeal to that nevertheless reduces human quality. Así que está 
Esta catapulte, el amor propio desmedido. So there is this propelling factor, this catapult of uh, self-love that is exaggerated. Y se desciende un poco más a la avaricia, luego a la vanagloria. And it descends to avarice and then vainglory. La soberbia. Ah, pero no concluye allí. Resulta que me tengo que levantar contra Dios. And it doesn't end, as it were, with vainglory and absolute worship of oneself. Now I just have to arise and attack God. Porque si la adoración del único y verdadero Dios ha desaparecido, pues... Vamos a blasfemar. Because if the worship of the one true God has disappeared, then let us move forward and blaspheme. Nótese que en el deslizadero, entonces, el comportamiento humano empeora. Note that in that slippery slope, human behavior worsens and worsens. Porque se levantan contra las autoridades. Because, for example, they arise against authority. Primeramente y principalmente, Dios como la autoridad máxima. Firstly, against God being the maximum authority. ¿Cómo se levantan contra Dios? How, Blasfemando. How do they do this? They blaspheme his name. Ah, pero luego, escuche lo que viene, desobediente a los padres. But note what comes after the fact. Disobedient to parents. El descenso se hace evidente. It becomes evident, that slippery slope, that descension. Cuando las figuras que representan respeto ya no juegan ningún papel importante en la mente, en el alma, en el corazón. When the figures that should represent authority figures and respect in these people's lives, entonces qué queda? Then what is left? Crueldad, cruelty. ¿Cómo es posible que nosotros estemos viendo las noticias y veamos a un hombre joven sacar el puño y golpear a un anciano? How is it possible that as we see nowadays manifested in the news, you have a young man whom randomly begins to punch an older gentleman on the highway or on the, you know, anywhere where they find themselves. Y se eso. And it seems as if they are delighting in such a thing. Y logra millones de views. And then you see that they post this on YouTube and it, or on social media and it has millions of views. Y la mayoría dice, lo vi para, para aborrecerlo. And the majority would say, I saw it in order to detest the individual that did such a thing. Eso la duda. Well, there's a lot of doubt as it were over that justification. See. Sí. Crueles, aborrecedores de lo bueno. You have here again, unthankful, unholy, those that hate good. Deja lo bueno tranquilo, no haga caso a esa gente. No, no, hay que aborrecerlo. Note that it's not sufficient with these people to say, just abandon good. No, 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 it's they despise good. Luego, ¿qué relación pudiera existir entre humano y humano si lo próximo es la traición? Now, think about it. What good human flourishing can there be if there are traitors in our midst? Y desciende más porque son impetuosos. And it's worse because it descends to being headstrong. Infatuados. Haughty. Y los mueve el amor al deleite. And once again, you note that what moves them, the primary driver, is the lover of pleasures. Yo tengo, que, yo tengo que disfrutar. I need to enjoy my life. Yo tengo que disfrutar porque yo soy joven. I need to enjoy my life because I'm a young guy. Y como persona joven, tengo que disfrutar. And as a young person, I have to enjoy my life. Porque cuando ya yo sea viejo, yo no voy a poder disfrutar. Because when I'm older, I won't seemingly enjoy life as much. Y yo veo a muchas personas, vamos a decir que ya están en la tercera edad. And I see many people, this person would say, that are probably in their third age, some would say. Que están viviendo para los deleites. That they are also uh, living, as it were, for pleasures. Y en medio de esto de vivir para los deleites, desaparece el cumplir con las responsabilidades. And in the midst of this living for carnal pleasures, what disappears is personal responsibility and discipline. Cumplir con las obligaciones. To fulfill with one's responsibilities. Si nosotros pensamos en lo que ha cambiado el comportamiento humano en los últimos 40, 50, 60 años. If we think about the behavioral change in humanity during the last 40, 50 years. Nos vemos obligados a, a ver, a entender. We are obligated to see, to understand. Que la conducta del ser humano. That man's conduct. Ciertamente es una señal profética. Certainly is a prophetic indicator. Y si ya estamos viendo esa conducta que Dios dice, tengo que ponerle fin a esto. And if we're already beginning to experience that conduct where God eventually will say, I have to put an end to this. Entonces, para los que creemos en el arrebatamiento de la iglesia. And for those of us that believe in the rapture of the church. Evento que ocurre siete años antes del regreso de Jesucristo. An event that occurs seven years before Christ's second coming. Nuestra reunión con Cristo tiene que estar cerca. Our meeting in the heavens with the Lord has to be near. Porque si está cerca el juicio divino, 
because if divine judgment is almost upon us, debido al comportamiento humano, once again, uh, doing it due to human behavior, entonces, repito, los que aguardamos la esperanza bienaventurada de ser tomados por el Señor, then I repeat, those of us that hold on to this blessed hope, as the Bible describes it, of being raptured in the air with the Lord, trasladados al cielo, taken to heaven, para ser librados de la hora de prueba que viene sobre toda la humanidad. To be liberated, as it were, from the hour of trial and tribulation that will come upon all humanity. Entonces, el juicio de Dios sobre la humanidad. Then the judgment of God over humanity. Está cerca. Is certainly close. Porque, no sé si usted se dio cuenta o no. Because I don't know if you might have noted or not. Pero, algunos seres humanos están tan... Sumergidos en su comportamiento. Some human beings, as it were, are so submerged in their own behavior. Que usted los escucha decir, ni te pedí ayuda, ni quiero ayuda, yo quiero estar como estoy. That you'll hear them say to you, I didn't ask for your help, neither do I want your help, I don't need it. Y cualquier corrección que tú le presentes para llevarles a una mejor calidad de vida. And any correction that you may present to improve their quality of life. Ellos no solo la rechazan, sino que te marcan a ti como persona que eres hasta un enemigo. Not only do they reject it outright, now they think of you as their enemy. Y en el ambiente del empleo te marginan y si es posible te intentan correrte. And in places, for example, such as the employment place, they'll try to marginalize you. In some instances, they'll even try to have you fired. Porque ellos ven el pensamiento cristiano, el pensamiento conservador como el estorbo para establecer el paraíso de deleite que ellos quieren establecer. Because these people see Christianity as the impediment that needs to be removed so as to have the paradise that they envision. Y el día que Dios vea como incorregible el comportamiento humano. And the day that God sees as incorrigible man's behavior. Yo pienso, es mi parecer, que ese es el día que el Señor le dice a tu hijo, ve a buscar tu iglesia. This is where I think that the father would say to his son, go and get your church. Algunos versos del Apocalipsis asustan. ¿Por qué no usar la palabra? Some verses in the book of Revelation, frankly, uh, they can strike fear in you. Ya hacia los últimos juicios explicados allá en el Apocalipsis. Towards the ending judgments that are explicated in uh, the book of Revelation. La escritura de entender que el ser humano ya sabrá que lo que está sucediendo en aquella hora es juicio divino. It says there that humanity would have fully comprehended that what is happening to them is divine judgment. Y que con todo y eso no se arrepentirán. And even then, it says that they will not repent. No dejarán de adorar a los demonios. They will not stop worshiping demons. Y la blasfemia, el insultar a Dios, se multiplicará. And the blasphemy against God would actually multiply. Así que, sí, échale un vistazo a la ciencia, un vistazo a lo que está sucediendo con Israel. Therefore, again, you can continue to look towards what's happening in science, what's happening with the nation of Israel. Y trate de ver si ciertos eventos anuncian el regreso del Señor. And that's fine. Try to see if those events, as it were, they announce the second coming of Christ. Pero si quiere una señal... Que habla a volúmenes. But if you want a sign that speaks volumes of the day and age you're in, mantenga la vista del comportamiento humano. Keep an eye on human conduct. Porque es lo que dispara muchos eventos y muchos sucesos. Because it is what triggers many of these events, many of these incidents. Vamos a dar gracias a Dios. Let us give thanks to the Lord. Amado Dios y buen Padre. Beloved Father, good Father. En el nombre de Jesús. In the name of Jesus. Queríamos decirte gracias por tu palabra. We wanted to say thank you for your word. Ayúdanos a recibirla con mansedumbre. Help us to receive it with meekness. Ayúdanos a entender que esto no es algo que nosotros debemos decir, es para el otro. Uh, help us to understand that this is not something that we should discard and say, this message is for another. Sí, ayúdanos a no decir, este mensaje es para otro. Help us to not say such a thing. Ayúdanos a considerarlo detenidamente y vernos en el gran esquema del comportamiento humano. Help us to consider it and to see ourselves as it were where we are in the greater scheme of things. Ayúdanos en esta hora. Help us in this day and age. Hacer sal y luz. In this hour to be salt and light. Te lo pedimos en el nombre de Jesucristo. We ask you this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Y 